Hi, I'm DBSBF. And we are back. I made some errors before. Um, I said this is an HP Lovecraft based, and it obviously HP Lovecraft did invent Cthulhu. So that was an error on my part. Is obviously based in his writing. I just have some criticisms about some of his moral beliefs. So I didn't want to, you know, it's not based on his stories, it's based on some of his creations, is what I was trying to say. Plague reads Amaya Crane, Captain of Perseverance. This captain's bronze likeness now overlooks senses of reckless debauchery in rueful contrast to how the pious man himself once set forth selflessly for the shores of the new world. A spruce man in his thirties is standing at the reception desk of the dilapidated hotel. From his well-groomed moustache to his sharp suit, he signifies self-esteem. That's hard to come by these days. Ah, an opportunity to do my generic European accent. Bonjour, monsieur. Under non more normal circumstances, I'd be delighted to welcome you to the Essex Hotel, one of New England's premier establishments. The man pauses to clear his throat. <coughs> Leaving aside the fact that there is no New England anymore. But regrettably, I see you are not one of the ladies and gentlemen approved by Monsieur Wex, and may only accommodate citizens who appear on the guest list. May I ask your name? I am Etinia Lafayette, the concierge of Hotel Essex. I have proudly performed this duty for more than 15 years. I also had to take on the role of manager after the unfortunate demise of Monsieur Phillips and of a receptionist. We are a little bit understaffed these days, as you can see. I see. Is there anything else I can help you with? What happened to the previous manager? Let's just say he chose the shortest route out of Vacan, Monsieur. <coughs> Rat poison. Along with Madame Phillips and the little ones, I do not recommend it. There were, you know, red bubbles on the lips. Like a poorly blended parfait. Let's see. Is there anything else I can help you with? You seem to take your job very seriously. Monsieur, do you know what is worse than a town doomed to extinction? A concierge without a hotel. The Essex is my life, and unless she kicks me out herself, I do not plan to abandon my responsibilities. Is there anything else I can help you with? How can I guess on the list? I'm afraid I cannot answer that question, monsieur, for I do not know. They send a new list every once in a while, and I arrange the accommodations, but... <coughs> common traits of the guests seem to be excessive drinking, vandalizing hotel property, and every other type of combination of misconduct including the occasional murder of other guests, committing ritual sacrifices, and so on. Perhaps you wish to participate in such endeavors, endeavors, monsieur. Let's see, another thing. But regrettably, I see you are not one of the ladies and gentlemen approved by Monsieur Wax. I may honor accommodate citizens to appear on the guest list. Seems the approved guests are not especially respectful of the establishment. As he gazes across the once grand lobby with melancholy pain in his eyes. We have seen better days, monsieur. This hotel and me, we've seen better days. Now, what within my humble powers can I help you with? Can I ask your name? Already done that. Continue. I see. Goodbye then. Can't really view those guys. Let's go upstairs. And then I told him. Come on girls, it's time to earn your cigs. Ah, oh, there's the girls from the street. Exhaustion. You're exhausted. Time to give your weary body a break. Secure yourself a refuge and sleep beneath the shroud of subconsciousness. Reduces some of your states, making a character weaker in the process. Three stages of exhaustion before your character enters the drain state. Mild exhaustion, exhaustion, and severe exhaustion. You need to rest in order to remove the exhausted state. 
You can enter rest at the old eel by making Marino a wealthier man or by acquiring camping supplies and resting at a campfire. Keep in mind that camping outdoors has its own hazards and risks, but due to the high demand for the relative safety of Marino's attic, you can find this rather shabby facility occupied from time to time. Ah, so you can have customers. What have we got here? The desiccated corpse who died crawling across the floor looks like he spent his last breath trying to defend his most precious possessions. The box is locked. Drat. Junk key. Can I use it? Uh, inventory. Junk key. Is that right? That's not how you use things. Thoroughly besmeared with soot and grime, this vanity table has fallen victim to the general decrepitude fretting away at the at once spotless features of this establishment. Derby hat kitten. Even a storm or an earthquake couldn't have easily caused such destruction, but in these times the reckless debauchery of the current lodges can easily account for it. Oh, and in my other play where I said proper roleplay game. I'm not saying that computer roleplay games aren't proper roleplay games. I meant tabletop. That was another error of speaking on my part. Hopefully there's more clarity to what I'm saying as well because we have the overall profusion of portraits such as this which always seems to depict the owlish visage of Arkham's Puritan fathers, only serves to accentuate the invariance of the town's existence. A locked door. A locked door. A locked door. We have invested in this. So hopefully there's... It's getting the sound balance in the last one was difficult, and I don't think that... I think it robbed me of some of the joys of telling stories which essentially this is because it is very akin to the tabletop side of roleplay um, as opposed to say the Final Fantasy kind of roleplaying where you are more playing a character that develops very quickly and gets a lot of presence in the game this is sort of Behind the bars is a stern looking man. Say, are you here to buy something or just waste my time? That's trades. I'm not going to waste this time. If you've got the SIGs, and don't forget that the mob pays good money for bullets. Open trade screen. So I consumed rations last time, so let's get some rations in. Go. Okay. Oh, he's got more rations. I get another change. Forty-eight six. Is that a lot of money? That's a decent amount of food for a while, so I should be able to eat. Probably one food per hour if going by their last game. can't really waste my hours either. It's got a lot, it makes it feel real. It makes the experience you've got time pressing on you. Didn't think about time pressing on me before. Clearly not really bothered by time pressing on me now because I'm still taking my sweet ass, but have time pressing on me. <sighs> oh, grandfather time! Ooh. Some tainted meat. What we got going on down here? Vehicles locked. Nearly all the fresh hills timber house looks deserted. Presuming the inhabitants were lucky enough to survive at all. After locals salvaged whatever they could find, use, cultists turned this humble place of worship into an altar to their own depravity. Lies, where is your god? See a man who has blackened his face and hands with paint. 
He's performing some kind of pantomime show. He is unaware of your presence. This is the part of H.P. Lovecraft I was never keen on. It's not hard to see that beneath his ridiculous posturing, something's deeply wrong. The man's weary visage shows he's been at this for a long while, and the exertion of staying in character is wearing him down. Hello? He reacts with comic surprise. His startled eyes show nothing but the shallow character he is portraying. Observe. You watch him continue his bizarre show at the expense of his dwindling physical health. Patterns of severe self-punishment are revealed. A deep sense of guilt may have triggered this malady. Can you cut it out, please? He shrugs theatrically and begins an another of his vulgar sketches. You are no longer sure whether this is a performance or the sole model of existence for this bizarre fellow. Slow down, will you? revolting smell attacks your nostril as you approach the homeless man, as if some small animal had died under his stained clothes. What is it, mister? Do I smell? Then stay a few damn yards away. Who's that man with paint all over his face? Oh, don't you know Coley Willie? Thought everybody knew Coley. You know, he is movies, the theatrical performances. He was a real celebrity, you know. Not Coley Willie, but the fella himself, Sam Rodney. Never found him funny myself. In better days, a friend told me of one of his shows, making all that money scoffing at black folks. A black day came for all of us in the end, didn't it? White, yellow, black, everybody. He's, been, he's still putting on a show. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a show anymore, mister. I've been hanging around him for a while now, and he's never been same Sam Rodney again. Not even once. Guess he's flat out Coley Willie now. I think he's punishing himself to death by continuing the Coley Willie act. Really, mister? That's sad, because he's the only person who can stand me. Who is he performing for? Some mob fellas used to come and see him now and then. Not anymore. Watching the same thing over and over get boring, probably. The other folks don't like to go anywhere near him. Probably find him creepy. Can't blame him. They don't like to be near me near either. Near me, they don't like to be near me either. So either we are Mr. Coley and the Stinky. Uh, need to go. He's not saying anything. You see a determined but pallid-looking woman in her thirties. Her outfit hints at a metro metropolitan sensibility sense an air of hypochondria about this mysterious woman excuse me sir I'd like to ask you something if I may please madam I'm listening I'm looking for my husband a slender long-faced gentleman from Boston his name is Randolph Carter all I know is he arrived in Arkham do you know him or his whereabouts I don't know if I've seen him but the name does not ring a bell I see thank you sir Better continue my search. How did you get separated? I'm sorry, but I should be looking for him. Goodbye. Beautiful mansion somehow remains unscathed and is obviously still occupied, though the relentless vein route have begun to assault it most aggressively. Goodbye. Oh, I'm going this way. The door is tightly locked, but there is a dusty button alongside, adjacent to a rectangular panel smaller to a speaker. Ring the bell. Voice sizzles from the speaker. What do you want? Can I come in? No. Speaker falls on. Okay. I've got to... Bridge piers are torn apart from the steel railings under the road by savage, unearthly winds, or perhaps an earthquake. Shivs, we got some shivs. The enclosure now serves as cold and dismal haven for a group of orphaned children. You smell funny. A watcher protects us. Leave. Flip. Intense. Child's imagination preserves even the most trying of times. Ah, oh, mate, you just consumed a ration.
Uh, this has got some creep going on. So definitely not an hour. We've got some right creeps there. God would give you his wings. I didn't go in there. This charred and decrepit place which once hosted many events and receptions as a gentleman's club of Arkham has been rechristened the Blackened Club by the surviving locals and serves as Waxface's criminal force. I guess I can't go. You better get out of shooting range. That sounds like good advice. I'm gonna take it. Journal? What's going on in the journal? Find Dismal Man. Uh, he told me, who is he? Does he have answers? Bank bandages and notes. So I might have to I found a peculiar key at the entrance. Smart. Perhaps I can find someone to tell me what it unlocks. I'm well, not done. I did that, didn't I? Oh no, he didn't tell me what it unlocks. He barely told me anything. I learned the proprietor of the antique store has a thing for keys. I suspect he can help me unlock the secrets of key number zero. Find the man named Ralph Carter, a slender no. grimoire, nothing. I changed my hat. Okay then. So there was an outside of world token as well, I think I saw. Well. What a better representation of the insignificance that we have next to a godlike entity. I mean, if God exists, we are to it as ants are to us. Not a big deal. are swiftly becoming to I've got a bit of a problem as well I played this before and I know at least there used to be a way when we first got this it was when it just came out and at least then it was relatively easy to get the Cloft man from earlier to be on your team. Maybe I have to go into that um, warehouse. Search this bit first. Go to the open world. Freedom! But yeah, the whole. Okay, no freedom. There's nowhere to go. Guess warehouse it is then. We've got the warehouse and the bank. Um, I didn't like to look at the bank. <laughs> Not yet. And like I said, there's a way to get the cloth man. Um, I can't remember what they call him. I think he might just be the unnamed man or something like that. Or the betrayed. Cthulhu usually has good names like that. As you approach the warehouse, which was once of creation. Gosh. Come on, man. Can go inside here. Where 
Alright, so chat. And the passage is closed. I'm gonna need some form of crowbar. Well, ain't that just popcorn and ground? I didn't know I'd need a crowbar. I hope the guy who sells a crowbar is gonna sell me a, a crowbar. Yes, I don't seem to be able to do anything right now. Toppling Lincoln. Cthulhu has asserted his position as dominant god around the inhabitants of Arkham. The entire town has been sucked into what's possibly the borderland between Ryla and the mortal realm. And we've just got to hope that he has. Okay, let's see what you got. Has he got a crowbar? Where's your crowbar? Needs a crowbar. He needs a crowbar. There's no crowbar. What is this? Monstrosity. Ah. So yeah, there should be a way of getting the guy that we met up there. Um, to join our team, but um, I seem to have not got that, and so that's made me sad. And that's what I've kind of been. Uh, I'd like to trade. So what I thought I'd end the piece on last time, and I never got there. So I ended it. I mean, backpack doesn't sound like a bad idea. So it's a little sad that I haven't managed to trigger off that little cutscene wherever it comes in that allows me to get him on my team. But maybe that's because I just straight up ran away from the bad guys. I clearly wanted me to try and fight or something. In here, so I guess this is the way I've got to go to make progress. This is the only place I can go. You and you are empty. I love the way they've got the atmosphere in this as well. It feels very creepy. The pacing is spot on. Right, the same. Oh, crumbs. Crumbs, itty crumbs, crumbs, crumbs. Okay. This is just gonna die me over. Ow! So traditionally in Cthulhu, you either die or go crazy. At the moment, it seems like I am. Steadily approaching that. Uh, what have I got to fend? Got walls of madness. I don't like the sound of that. How's that? He shrieked me. I didn't want to be shrieked. Ow! And then, start of each turn. Yeah, I saw that. I got this bar at the top. 
Oh, I'm just gonna get destroyed. As long as we're all understood that the options are die or go crazy. Graze me, mate. Yeah! Bring on you. Oh. Another howl, come on man. That ain't cool. I just really need to cheese it. They're gonna bully, bully me on the initiative next round. I sh come on man, I've run this away. Liberating you. Always oh, attacking his own guy. Oh, come on! Haven't I heard enough of them? Should be used to them by now. New turn begins. Come on, high initiative. High reaction. What's your badness? It's not bad. Oh, she's too close. Don't like that. Ow! Seven damage for the rear. No defense. What you get for just cheesing. Uh, how is there no exit? Have I got to actually do some damage or something? Attack. Focused. Oh, for flip's sake. some damage in order to proceed. I can't do damage. Come on man, give me a break. Give me a break man. Ah! Rare. Ah, front. Missed. Come on. Try. Uh, say. No, don't use action points. Focus. Right, is this how we do it? Seemed like it was a very good idea. Just anger in it. Got three shots. I'm not feeling I've done well. Oh, they've bullied me. Your days in the doomed town have come to an end. Your corpse will nourish the Pikman Ghouls in the dark corner of Arkham. Okay, well, I guess to play this properly, we've got to start a new character, don't we? Laura. Continue. 
they like the lower chances of random combat encounters. <laughs> I'm just going for a standard adventure. Rational. Joshua Whittakin. on purpose. Quite high presence, goodwill, mind, senses, not much in the physique. Uh, I don't see him as an explorer, so I want to stick with investigator if I'm honest. Academic, scientist. You are waiting. Come. From the top. Yeah, we'll skip that. But oh, a video. Good dreaming, Joshua. So yeah, die or go crazy, and I obviously went for the the former. It's too dark to go outside or out of light. In case anybody was wondering what happened if we tried it. Alright, that's just a non-weapon hand. Do not use this as a weapon. So yeah, the we we went crazy. That was the option we picked. How will it go this time? I think we both died and went crazy because we did this dream bit before as well. I don't think I regained any sanity points. Maybe four sanity points. I'm really annoyed because I turned my phone on silent. <laughs> um, already in this new playthrough, there's been some. I won't necessarily start from the top every time, but that's it. I think I might have managed to glitch again before. So. From the top. With Joshua Whittingham. Doctor Joshua Whittingham. He's got doctor's clothes to prove it. Ah, oh, inventory. That is doctor's clothes. Oh! Spiffing Doctor's hat. Servo magnifier, an advanced magnification device. So I reckon we can still use our psychology skills to wind up Agnes or whatever his name is. Herschel! These days for going to the future, blah 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 blah. I'll try and not go too slowly this time as well so we can save some of those tasty rations. We've already done a lot of it. Um, so his conversation didn't really add anything, did it? Who are you? Um, sure. Test my skill. The last round. Yeah. 
Josh. You liked it, huh? Hang on. Oh, champion. Is there a prize? And the prize continue. Hmm. Seems you have somehow transferred the frustration of your past onto the game of darts. The game is perhaps just a medium for you to escape your reality. Fuck. Got some sanity for it this time as well. Go, Dr. Joshua. Oh. Don't he still take full damage. Uh, character. Come on, man. Dimmy for five. But, you get 40 cigarettes, is that right? 40 cigarettes. And that's just bang for your buck, man. Bang for your old buck. That thing, she tells me about Cthulhu, don't need to do that. Farm in the pit, uh, the last game for our facts. Cool. I mean, we pretty much already know that we're Descended into um, some sort of hellscape between Arkham. That's about all we learned before I died. Some investigator. I bet the doctor will do a better job. Uh oh. Tired and exhausted this time, putting your hand on your shoulder. You alright, pal? Covering your nose. God, that foul smell. What did you do? Pardon me for saying that, but you didn't look very good. What about him? Um, soldier? Are you really a soldier? That's me, private. Sorry, I don't have one with me. Oh, a key! Oh, I'm going into stealth mode. Hello? Got a key! He's not saying anything. Ah, there's an exit to the story here as well. Story progressed. Oh! Oh, Joshua! Hello, Joshua. So you're a skeevy guy, called us a shop. This stuff's all junk. Okay, let me see what you got. Junk. Not picks. I wonder if they can be used as crowbars. Didn't find any crowbars, did I? Knock on the door. I'm nobody. Get lost. If you want to go inside, what can you tell me about this key? I look like a locksmith or something. Hang on the side, I do. Just put it on the side. I look like a locksmith or something. 
Put it on the side and I'll get you some in a bit. Where is the pending saw? I think you better take my leave then. <clears throat> While I'm here, might as well pick up as much as I can. Save the gems. I've already done his accent in this thing. Really? Them again. Maybe a little pick would help me with that. That's locked. <clears throat> Try not to waste his rations this time as much time as we can in small confined spaces. Except for that bank that I'm going to avoid for now. I did not like it. Let's see. Unsolved mystery. Have a warning. Uh, I'd like to trade. I can trade screens. Do we have any? It's got kerosene. Oh, we had food. Let's buy all this food. Do some hats. Some thread to keep things together, I guess. Compass, whetstone. I have a feeling some of these will be valuable. Yes, that's his wares. Come on, man. It's caught behind doors sometimes, it seems. But yeah, I want to get that guy. We saw him again. I want to get him this time around. So I'm going to do everything in my power not to glitch this up. Who are you? I'm not going to do the generic European accent. Uh, so you're offering to fight for me. Is that a grotesque monument? The thing thing. Well, I'm not surprised. Goodbye. He was a little bit closer than that. Hmm. Nothing across.
I'm gonna try it. Bandages. I can make bandages again. I'm gonna save my money this time around. Just because I don't know what I'm gonna need. I don't know how quickly I'll die, obviously. <laughs> for a tumble last time, shouldn't I? He died without ever knowing the touch of a woman. In game. Is he looking at you? Don't look at him, man. Dude, you shouldn't have looked at him. Oh, no! He asked for it by looking for him. I'm definitely skipping that. Fucking... Minstrel guy, like I said, it's one of the bits I can't really abide about. HP Lovecraft was his view of other races. Right, let me try to Ring bell. Who are you? Oh, that, that didn't work any better. I still can't bloody get anywhere. Oh, she had a quest for me, didn't she? Bloody twisted. Glad is suffering, that's all I'm saying. Please, man, I'm just saying. I do you know him. I don't know if I've seen him, but if I do, how do you get separated? Okay, didn't want to talk to him. Should have asked a different question, maybe. I can game. I'm good at game. Game me and it know well. Me no game well. Me good game. Me good with and at game. So if we can get more out of him, and then we're pretty much at exactly the place we left off, but with a death under our belt. That's something for us all to find. A notebook with keys and symbols in the cover. What do we know about this key? Interest in the key. What changed after the black day? What about knowing why you want them so badly? Continue, continue, continue. I think they're real keys. Continue. How can a bunch of keys help you escape? Dreams is simply the reflection of one's unconscious. How hollow life must be for you. Good luck with your time in Arkham. Yeah, that's why I was worried about going rational. Um, what is this place? This is Schmidt's Antiques, or what's left of it. And I am a pseudo Schmidt. Like the merchandise, I have been gathering dust here for a good long while. Tell me how I may assist you, or perhaps how you can assist me. It's a very nice collection of keys you have. I see your wares. What do you have in mind? If you also accept SIGs of someone were to bring... I would accept SIGs in payment, but only from you. You made the right choice. May I see your wares? So he has no more information for me. Is that right? Um, I need your expertise on something. Just his glasses over his clary eyes. In his expression, you see an interesting mixture of Professional curiosity and grumpiness caused by your interruption. Open the decipher screen. You do not possess any artifacts with unknown powers. Okay. Look at. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Use. How do I get him out then? Hmm. Maybe tell the mob that he is. Taking six is just priming on our turf. Okay, so that's us back to where we were. Um, sorry to have not made much progress, but uh, we are where we are. Thank you for spending time um, with me. It's been a pleasure. Um, I hope you have a lovely time for the rest of the day. Thanks and bye.